Well, for more on the hearings and the potential impact on tariffs, I'm joined by John Tang. He's a partner at the law firm DHH here in Washington and in Beijing. Thank you for joining us. No problem. Thank you for having me. Now, I understand that you attended the hearing. So let's start with the arguments you gave in front of the USTR on these tariffs. Give us, give us a brief overview. Well, there's uh, four main arguments we made. First, that um, the sanctions, the tariffs themselves, do not address the 301 investigation issues of IP. Um, second, even if we tariffed uh, the 1,300 products, um, it wouldn't sway the Chinese government, it wouldn't alter the market any. Um, fourth, uh, third, um, it actually, the tariffs themselves hurt U.S. consumers. And lastly, uh, the tariffs uh, hurt U.S. economy. So um, these four points, we're hoping that the U.S. tier would take into consideration and uh, see our point. Now, obviously, a lot of people in attendance here wanting to get their voices heard. What compelled you to come and speak out and give your comments? Well, um, as you mentioned, um, our firm is a Chinese firm, but we're one of the largest Chinese firms, um, and we're global. And our clients are both U.S. and Chinese, and it's very much affected by these tariffs. Um, and this is the first time we've seen that it's a... Uh, across the board, uh, um, like I said, it's 1,300 products that is going to be tariffed if we don't do anything. So give us an idea. What was the atmosphere like in the room? Obviously, this is a very, very tense situation. What did it feel like? Um, the atmosphere was okay. Um, the, the people giving the testimonies, obviously, um, they were on both sides, but um, most of the people, from what I heard, were against uh, the tariffs. Some may have supported the uh, challenges to the IP issues, but they're against the tariffs as a, uh, res uh, a remedy for that. Um, um, and a lot of feelings were um, there because a lot of the companies there saw their survival um, depending on whether or not these tariffs would be issued. So then what's your overall impression of the hearing and the process itself? Does it feel like it could be enough to sway the USTR? Um, I think the hearings will have some effect, uh, but I think it's going to be mainly comes down to the negotiations this week and uh, in the future to, to um, resolve the trade issues between the two countries. Um, hopefully the hearings, um, at, at least from what I hear, we're hoping that the hearings would um, at least decrease the amount of products that's going to be tariffed. Um, and hopefully um, uh, the administration would delay uh, issuing the tariffs until after the negotiations. So then given what's at stake with these tit-for-tat tariffs, were there any alternatives offered from people as a way to really try and diffuse these trade tensions? Well, definitely. I mean, um, as you mentioned, uh, uh, Liu He is here. Uh, they're negotiating with uh, the administration to try to resolve these issues. Um, if that's successful, obviously, we're hoping that the 301 um, tariffs will go away. Um, but um, the other point is that um, this really is a issue that should be taken up in the WTO and not unilaterally by the U.S. government here. And given the span of industries involved, as we heard there, healthcare, agriculture, did it seem like any particular sectors dominated the conversation? Um, no, not really, because um, it is across the board on all industries. Uh, it's not only the industries that the administration have put the tariffs on, but it's also industries that the Chinese are likely to have reciprocal tariffs uh, put on them. So uh, it's... It, there was a very broad representation of industries there. And as you mentioned, you represent clients both in the U.S. and Beijing. What would they like to see happen next? Well, really, um, they see an issue. They hope that two governments could resolve the trade issue. Um, um, China's constantly improving their intellectual property protection. Um, and I believe, the, at least my clients, um, also wish that China would improve their IP protection. But um, ultimately, I believe uh, they hope to see a negotiated settlement between the two countries. All right. Thank you so much for your insights. John Tang there, partner at DHH Law Firm.